Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. Once again, we are Mumu Indoors today. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to tie what I consider the best fishing knot, the uni knot. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my Mumu Indoors t-shirt, my buddy boy named Sue. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm not saying the uni knot is the best because it's the strongest. Uh, it's really strong. But I wouldn't say it's the strongest. But I'm saying Uninat is the best cut because you can use it in multiple applications. Of course, you can use the Uninat to tie a hook. You can use the Uninat to tie a swivel. And you can use the Uninat to tie or connect braid to mono, braid to floral. This is where the Uninat really shine is you can tie braid to braid mono to mono, floral to floral, and even floral to mono. So that's why I consider uni knot the best fishing knot because you can use it in so many different applications. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is how you tie your uni knot to the hook. Feed a line through the eye, like so. And you're gonna pull about five to six inches of the tag end through the eye. Once you've done that, you're going to pinch both the main line and the tag end with the thumb and the index finger, like so. And with the tag end, you're going to make a loop like so, and also you're going to pinch it with your thumb and index finger, like that. And basically, you're going to wrap the tag end through the loop and through the both tag end and the main line. One two, three, four, and five. So the wrap, all the, the number of the wrap depends on uh, the type of the fishing line. Uh, usually with the thinner fishing line, I go a little more. With the thicker fish line, I can go less. So anywhere between 4 to 10 is a really good number. And once you do that, you just basically pull tension with the tag end. You're going to lubricate from the eye of the hook all the way to the knot. And this time, you're going to pull on the main line and cinch it down. So that's the uni knot. And obviously, you could do the same knot on a swivel as well, free through the eye, pinch both the uh, tag end and the uh, main line, make a loop, pinch that down as well, and you're going to wrap it. And pull on the tag end a little bit, you're going to wet it, and you're going to cinch it down all the way like so okay also uh, if for some reason if you want to tie a knot uh, to the shank of the uh, hook uh, rather than to the eye of the hook you can use the uni knot as well this is often done with the snail knot but if you don't know how to tie a snail knot you can also achieve this with the uni knot line through the eye of the hook and you're gonna feed the line over about six seven inches and you're gonna make a loop right there like so and basically you're gonna wrap the tag end around the shank of the hook and the loop And then you're going to come out through the loop after you measure um, anywhere between six to eight wraps. You're going to hold the tag in and hold the wrap you just made. And basically you're going to pull on the uh, main line, cinch it down a little bit and pull on the tag in just a little bit. Make sure it's tight 
and you, you really gonna cinch it down the main line trim the tag end like so and there you go that's the uni line on the shank of the hook and this time you're gonna we're gonna connect the braided line to the mono so you're basically gonna overlap braided line and the mono together like so and pinch it down make a loop just like you did it with the hook and you're gonna wrap it around Then you're gonna you're gonna pull tension and cinch it down not quite all the way but about that much so with the mono I like to wrap it about four to six times uh, depending on the thickness of the mono if it's really thick I will go four times thinner line I will go up to six times and from here I'm gonna turn this around because it's easier for me to wrap it with my right hand same thing you're gonna make a loop and with the braided line I like to wrap it uh, 8 to 10 times one and 8 and I'm gonna pull tension cinch down just a little bit like so and I'm gonna wet it both here to the mono tag end and I'm gonna basically pull on the main line on each mono and the braid line and from here just cinch it down uni to uni or double uni really shines when you are connecting two of the same type of line whether it's braid to braid or mono to mono floral to floral or even mono to floral so exact same process overlap two lines pinch it make a loop and make a wrap eight switch it down a little bit same thing, I'm gonna switch this around. Same thing, make a loop. One, eight, and cinch it down a little bit. You're gonna wet it from knot to knot and everything in between. And you're just gonna simply pull tension like so. There's a uni to uni with the braided line and you simply cut the tag end on each side there you go and you're good to go so when I re-spool my uh, reel I don't replace all the line I typically just replace the part that is worn out usually about 50 yards this is a, a good way to save some money when you are re-spooling your reel because braided line tends to be pretty expensive typically when I'm connecting a braided to mono or floral I use a FG knot or SC knot I have a video on SC knot in the description so check that out but when I'm connecting two of the same line uni to uni is the way to go Typically, you tie a uh, some kind of slip knot um, to spool your reel, and uni knot is is basically a slip knot that you can use to spool the reel. So you have a tag end going around the spool like so, and you're gonna do the same thing. Grab the two tag in the main line and make a loop and one two three four I usually just go about four wraps and pull on the tag in 
And once you've done that, you'll wet it. And then you're gonna pull on the main line to and really kind of work it to really cinch it down so it doesn't slip and after that you can simply clip the tagging off there's the uni knot for spooling the reel same thing when you're spooling the spinning reel I'm going to use a braided line for this uh, what you want is you want a one layer of electrical tape uh, so the knot does not slip so just like you are feeding the line through the eye of the hook you're going to make a loop right here instead of pinching it here I'm going to pinch it up here like so and make a loop then you're going to wrap it about four times so I'm going to pull on the tag end a little bit like so now you have this loop right here with the uni knot so I'm going to put a layer of electrical tape on the spool and at the end you kind of want to overlap it a little bit not too much like so now you have an electrical tape around the spool and you got your loop right here right there and you're basically going to pull on the main line and you're going to work it and cinch it down there you go simply cut the tag in and uh, you can spool your spinning wheel with the braided line so there you guys uh, with one knot you can do so much with it so much with it uh, that's why I think the uni knot is the best fishing knot maybe it's not the strongest but it's really strong um, and you can do so much with it so if you have any questions please comment down below thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors